Hello everyone. Today I wanted to give a quick video demonstration about the Frogpad right-handed keyboard remap that I made. So this is my Dell laptop running Windows 7. Uh, this works on any version of Windows. So what I did was I remapped this standard QWERTY keyboard to a Frogpad layout. So the way this works is that the J key right here remaps to the H key on a regular frog bed. Uh, the reason I chose this J key was because it has a uh, little groove on there just like the H key does on the regular frog bed. So, and then that also gave me good position so the uh, space bar could also be my thumb really, really easily right there. So, I will show you here. So, I'll post a link to this executable file right here. Um, all you have to do is just double click on the Frogpad icon, and your keyboard is now remapped to the Frogpad layout. As you can see by this little uh, Frogpad guy down here indicating that it's on. So, I'll give you a quick demonstration of what I'm talking about here. So, let me zoom out so you can see my hand and the screen at the same time if possible. Hi, this is a demo of the frog pad layout on a Windows computer. This is an ideal layout for a laptop computer. Um, I didn't really mean to say ideal layout there, I just meant to say um, this ideal hardware really because, I mean, I actually prefer this on a laptop compared to having a uh, external keyboard having to carry around like when I'm laying on the couch or something like that when I'm on my uh, laptop. So I think it's pretty cool. Um, all the keys are there. Um, and then all the numbers and the symbols and all that stuff are the same on the QWERTY keyboard. So you know, it's not an identical copy of the frog pad, but that's okay because, you know, all you really need is the letters and then, you know, you're going to be using one hand anyway to hit like the numbers or something like that. So I didn't remap that stuff, but there's a quick demo of it and then I'll post a link to this, this, um, app file right here in the uh, video description um, all you have to do is just double click on it and it runs and then to stop it all you do is right click on your little frog right here exit and your keyboard is remapped back to the QWERTY as you can see right here give me a second but yeah, it's the QWERTY layout. So to start it back up, you know, just double click on it. And then you can also just go down here and pause it. Or not suspend, but pause script. And then you'll get like this red icon indicating that it's been paused. So just click it, unpause it, and back to the frog pad. Oops. So this is a good um, thing to do before you get, before the hardware gets back into production um, in 
like I said, you know, it's actually preferable probably for a lot of people on a, a laptop computer. So, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I'll post a link to the program in the video description. That's it. Bye.